it's me again and uh, today I will show you how to make moving truss on Grand MA 3D. Now to do this you simply go to this page if you want more wiki by the way this page here show you how to make one moving parts that's what it's called uh, you can move truss up and down um, but it might screw up, so what might happen if you click this, you might have the Z, which for me is up and down. As you might see, it already is moving. Because this is not the truss that I want to show you now. I'm going to check the focus on it, on these lights. Click a little bit, yeah, anyways. It's the front move, which I called it. Um moves and the, the max me is currently 50 I can move it up and down however I want it's so freaking amazing now of course I want it on 50 as I go um, we are I'm gonna show you how to put the I'm gonna put on the back one I'm gonna show you how to do that so as you might see here we have translation one and we have translation two translation one currently is the truss Translation 2 is going to be the back truss. Um, it's going to be that behind there. We're just going to select it first. So that's probably this one. Yes. And then we have a Mac 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're just simply going to hit group object and drag this group and translation 2, like this. We can call it whatever we want to. Call it like a back truss like that and now already since this is grouped we will be able to just click here I'm just gonna make a better move it's a pretty good scene in my opinion um we're simply gonna click ground on PC back move we're gonna put Z down we're gonna put these lower down now this is pretty cool if you want to simulate a um, down rig taking that off the lights back up you can even put it higher up which is the best part you can have it a maximum and you can have a minimum so you can have like zero and you can have a hundred so there is a maximum to this just remember that now I have mine on 50 right there so that's basically how to do it uh, we want to um, that's a very easy way but how to get these things I'm gonna install one more I'm gonna actually yeah I'm gonna install one more and um, to get this fixture it looks like you can't use it but you clearly can you hit setup and patch fixture schedule like you always would you're gonna go to T which is where I have my things you hit there for new you want to go from library and you want to search in moving path you can also scale, rotate, spin, uh, translate, rotate, scale, you can have all of them. You can have just translate, which is what I'm going to use. Hit OK. You can just how many you want here. I only want one. Like that. There you go. Uh, we have it. Again. And you just close out of this. And we make one for the last one as well. might have been a sign a sign that and we're gonna call it um circle uh, move there you go we want to circle in the middle if you haven't noticed it already this part to move as well which is this one just gonna rename it circle I'm gonna rename this front and rename this back there you go and now we're just gonna select um, these three and select that and we're gonna hit group objects drag this group to the circle and rename that to press circle just in case 
we get lost in the way. Uh, and now you should be able to move the circle up and down. We're just going to check it to make sure. Just clear the ones. Why did it all just vanish? down and up it's a pretty cool thing isn't it and middle is 50 by the way if you wonder and it will go slowly after that if you if you set a delay like I have here in the masters we put the program time to 2 and we can put Z to like 10 uh, I think but it was probably execute time. Put that two. Put it back to fifty. Oh, why is it going in that speed? You should if you do this, if you hit um if you put like thirty here, thirty. If you have it further down, why not? And then we hit uh store that then we turn this to uh, 50, turn it back on the height like that, I'm going to hit store and new second queue I'm going to click a clear and we are going to hit go on this goes down goes up now the fade is going to be 10 so we're just going to go back down Put it in time. So we're gonna put one. And now it slowly goes up, as you might see there. I don't know what this is really. Uh, we're gonna put it bump it up to like. Five seconds is what I put in here, didn't I? Fade ten seconds. Yeah, it's execute one for me. There we go. It now animates very slowly down. And back up. A simple toggle button, really. And if we hit off on this, off, it will slowly fade out of the lamps. <laughs> yeah. So that's how to uh, put trust up and down. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section, I hope. This, I haven't really found a video on this yet, so this might be a big hit. If you uh, liked this video, um, be sure to share it so other people can see this, because this is not something I've really... I just figured out how to do this myself, so please share it so other people also can find out how to do this magic trick from Grand MA. 3D and console. It is an amazing thing. I really like the feature that you can take it up and down and you can make some very good things. It can look very cool. You can have LED lights on it just like going up and you go, what? What's that? And I've seen many lights on Grand MA 3D which includes these things. Um, it's pretty cool. I really like it. So that is how so that's how you uh, make moving paths or moving truss as I like to call it because that's what most people use it for you can also use it to move lights up and down just like in the air <laughs> it would look very silly but yeah that's how you do it it looks very amazing in my opinion I've seen many people want to know how to do this 
Uh, and here you go. This is how to do it. So I hope this was interesting and helpful for you. If you have any questions or have any trouble doing this, please contact me and uh, put a comment, and I will try my best to help you out. If you, if I really need you to send some pictures and stuff, send them via my YouTube channel. If you have some pictures and you're sure that I need to see pictures and screens, screen chairs and all that of your things, you might even have to add me on Skype or something join.me whatever um we will sort things out uh yes that's all goodbye